Hey everyone, it's me Sherry. So I'm back to do another video for you guys and today's going to be my empties video. I have a lot of empties in here. I didn't do an empty video back in uh, October, so this is like two months worth of empties. There's a lot of candles. I'm just going to let you know that right up front because I burn a lot of candles, especially in the fall time. So I just want to jump into this with you guys. Again, I apologize for the lighting. I'm going to try to record earlier in the day um i just it's it's hard sometimes so i will try to make an effort to record earlier in the day so the lighting's better because i have a whole bunch of natural lighting going on right now or sorry artificial lighting going on right now and i don't have like proper lighting so it's kind of i kind of look in yellowish there's a little christmas tree in behind me isn't it cute anyway i'm just going to jump right into this and uh we'll get started so the first thing that i have here is a starbreeze candle and this is spiced apple cider this burned horribly um but it was only three dollars so it burned okay at first but then it, as you can see here it kind of tunnel burned and stuff so it looks like that in the inside the scent is pretty much gone out of the wax so um just it's not even burnt down completely it could probably burn for another little while but I'm just kind of quits on this candle I'm done with it I got this like last year and I just finished it up I probably won't repurchase this type of candle anymore because I wasn't fussy for it all right and now we're going to jump into some Bath and Body Works candles here so the first one that I have is ice cream shop it's a three wick candle this was white at first but now it's like gross um this one burned evenly, pretty much. Uh, no, I had trouble with this one. This is the one that I had trouble with. Um, it smells it's just sweet. Uh, I'm not. I don't think I would repurchase this candle though. I'm not really fussy, fussy for it. But um, I don't know if they even sell this anymore. Actually, the ice cream shop one. I got this like two years ago. Um, I had trouble with this candle. It was tunnel burning. I had to pour wax off of it. Um, I went to take it back to Bath and Body Works because it wasn't burning properly. Um, but Due to the fact that I did buy it like two years ago, it was only ringing up as $2.50. So I thought, no, even if I have to crack it up and use it in a melt, like a whack or um, uh, a wax melt thing, like a Scentsy thing or like a tea light or whatever, I figured I was just going to keep it for that. So I probably won't repurchase that candle. The next one I have is Leaves. My all-time favorite. This one burned flawless right down to the very end. There's like a little tiny bit of wax left. I will probably crack this up and take it because it still smells good and I can burn that in my tarp burner. So that's a definite repurchase. And oh, surprise, surprise, we have leaves. And this is a mason jar one. Again, burned flawlessly right down to the bottom. Still smells good. Lots of scent left in it. So I will repurchase that. Um, I burn the mason jar ones in my bedroom. So that's why I had one of each. I'm just trying to go through all the candles first that I burnt. Um, the next one is Pumpkin Apple. I bought this one last year. I would repurchase this again. This smells really nice. The, again, this burned flawlessly. Had no problems with it. And I probably would repurchase that. I, still more to go here, guys. Um, I have this little... Where is the top for it? Right here. I have this little pumpkin jar that I got at Bath and Body Works um, last fall and this was sweet cinnamon pumpkin in here. I burnt this in my bedroom. It burnt down to the very end. I'm going to try to clean the wax out of this and just keep it as like decor for the fall. Um, and I would repurchase sweet cinnamon pumpkin again. I like the smell of it. And I believe that is it. Yeah, that's it for... Phew, that's it for the candles. So like I said, that was a lot of candles, but in the fall I do burn a lot of candles. So... Get down. <laughs> He's a little weasel. The next thing that I have is these exfoliating cleansing towelettes from Ex Equate that I got at Walmart. There is 60 in each pack. It was a double pack for like $7. I won't repurchase these because it was a good value because I got 120 cloths for $7.92 or something like that. But they're not very, I hate this word, but they're not very moist. Um, I'm going to repurchase the up and up ones from Target. It may be half of the product for like $2 less, but they work better. So they're, they're better suited to my needs. 
Okay, I'm just jumping in this in random order. There might be sets of stuff in here, but I don't know, so I'm just going to go for it. The next thing that I have is a shower gel, and it's Pink Sugar Plum from Bath & Body Works. I know this is a holiday scent. I got this, like, a year and a half ago or two years ago, probably two years ago now, um, and I'm just using it up. Actually, it might have been longer than that. I think it was. I think it would have been three years this Christmas, so... This was probably past ex expiration date, but it's soap. I mean, it didn't do anything to me, so um, it still smelled excellent. So I finished that up. The next product that I have is a sample, and this is Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. Uh, this was okay. I used this on a day that I wasn't really wearing makeup. I just kind of splattered it on my face. I don't think I will buy this, though, but it was okay. It smelled nice. The next product that I have is Pumpkin Spice Latte Foaming Gentle Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. I already repurchased another one of these. It's in my bathroom now. Purchased it before the fall stuff left and the Christmas stuff was there. So obviously I like this and I will repurchase it next year again. And it just, it smells just like a Pumpkin Spice Latte. Like that a lot. The next product that I have is John Frieda Frizz Ease Hair Ser Serum. Um, I used to use a little dab of this in my hair when I got into the shower to kind of keep the flyaways away. And I got this in a glossy box a while ago, but I'm just finishing it up because I switched back and forth from this to argan oil to other oils. And uh, I don't know if I would repurchase this because I like my argan oil, so I'd probably just repurchase that. The next product that I have in here is a simple eye makeup remover. I got this a while ago too and I kind of just, there was like this much left in the bottle I think and I just poured it out because I didn't want it to be left there and I didn't want to use it because it's probably expired so I don't think I would repurchase that one though because I like the Neutrogena one so I use that one more. Oh, more candles. I thought I got them all but I guess I didn't. This is sweet, oh this is sweater weather. Oh my god, I love the smell of this. I have a mason jar of sweater weather in my bedroom burning now, but I absolutely love this. If you guys have not smelled this candle, like leaves is my favorite, but I think this is catching up to leaves. Um, but if you don't like sage, you probably wouldn't like this. But this is awesome, and I cannot wait to uh, repurchase that again next fall, and I can't wait to burn it again tonight. Um, then I have the set from Bath & Body Works in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, this one, the lotion was older, and then I just picked up the spray this year. I liked this. It was a nice, I wore it all through, like, October, and, uh, I really liked it, so I probably would repurchase that again. Although, Cashmere Glow is my favorite fall scent. I will just throw that in there. The next product that I have is a hair product, and it is the Briagio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Uh, this was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. The next product that I have, oh, let's let's see what else we have in here before we go through actual makeup products, even though I did a sample makeup product. Um, okay, so I have a Avon Naturals Vanilla Hand Sanitizer. I like the Bath & Body Works one, so I won't repurchase that. And that's more of a gel. The, san the, the Bath & Body Works ones are better. I'm getting all tongue-tied. Speaking of which, oops, sorry, Cassie. I just dropped it. Speaking of which, I do have two Bath & Body Works ones here. This one is Mandarin Citron. This was a fruity one. I like that for the summer. And this one is Vanilla Sparkle. This was in our car. We kind of keep one in our car sometimes, too. This is a holiday one, and this was really nice. It smelled like vanilla. And then last but not least, I have one makeup item, and other than that powder, and it is the Falsies Mascara, and I will definitely repurchase this again because I love this mascara. Um, I actually have another one back here in my cabinet, but it is a brown one, but I um, just figured it'd be good for like every day, but this is like getting dried up, so I, I don't know if you guys, have, if you, I don't know if you haven't seen it yet, but there's what the wand looks like and it just really volumizes my eyes but this is pretty much dried out right now so that is everything that i have for my empties video i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll talk to you guys on my next video bye everyone